On this day in 1812, a friend and colleague received a name he never requested. Early in that same year, the Democratic Republicans took their majority in the Massachusetts legislature to advantage, uh, particularly in the mandated drawing of electoral districts. They drew some rather oddly shaped districts at that. Uh, but they were so peculiarly drawn in order to maintain their majority in the upcoming years. The governor, my colleague and well-founded friend, Elbridge Gerry, despite the fact that he also aligned himself with the Democratic Republicans, uh, highly objected to those actions by the legislature. He found them highly disagreeable, and yet he signed them into law. Very much like myself with the Alien and Sedition laws, our signatures were the extent of our involvement. Yet, much like myself and the Alien and Sedition laws, as the executive, he bore the responsibility. The maps were drawn and distributed, and then the press got a hold of them. And mind you, I am ever for an expressive press. Ah, uh, my relationship with said press has been less than happy, particularly when they find themselves very distant from the truth. The Boston Gazette may have printed the truth, but they certainly did not do it in a very impartial manner. A drawing of the map was printed, with the shape of the newly drawn district being made to resemble a salamander, a small monster steeped in fiery folklore, and thusly added the governor's name to the title, the Gerrymander. Although why they changed the pronunciation of the name I know not. I suppose I should be grateful that they did not start calling me John Adams. However, the name for the Signed district changes stuck. My respect for Mr. Gary was great, and I believed well founded. In the Continental Congress, I said that if every man here were a Gary, the liberties of America would be respected and safe against the gates of earth and hell. I have voted for Mr. Gary, and voted for him again, because I believed him incomparably to be the most capable, independent, and disinterested man for the office that ever breathed air in Massachusetts. However, Massachusetts is her own worst enemy. As soon as a man has acquired a name, done great services, made great sacrifices, envy runs him down. Gary was no exception. Still, in my thoughts on government, I wrote that the representative assembly should be a portrait of the people at large. It should think, reason, feel, and act like them. It is altogether possible that this gerrymandering smears the paint. <laughs>